Hey girl, it's Ryan Morrell and girl, in today's video, I will be showing you 20 ways to customize your MacBook and yes, you can file this under things to do this quarantine, things to do while I'm bored at home. But before I begin, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I would love to have you be a part of our little family. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to get notified every single time I post a video Saturday 2 p.m. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing is your wallpaper. Whenever I do like a what's in my MacBook, what's on my iPhone video, I'd always get questions about my wallpaper. And for the longest time, I would get my wallpapers from Pinterest. And I definitely still recommend Pinterest. If you need cute wallpapers, girl, like Pinterest is the place to go. But recently, I've been really into like digital art. I'm not the best at it yet, but because that is something that I'm trying to learn more of this course, Quarantine. This wallpaper that I have right here, I actually made on Photoshop. If you want to learn how to create digital art, if you want to learn how to illustrate, Skillshare is a great place to learn how to do that. And yes, I am happy to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of creative classes for you to choose from. If you're like me and you want to learn how to illustrate and make custom wallpapers for your MacBooks, there are so many classes on illustration and graphics graphic design on Skillshare. For example, after I finish this class on mastering Illustrator, I'm going to take this class on illustrating stylized people, which I find so fascinating. And I feel like those would make super cute wallpapers. And girl, the reason why I always come back to Skillshare is because one, they have such a wide variety of classes to choose from. You can take classes on animation and music production, but also on marketing and entrepreneurship. And two, it's super affordable. A yearly subscription is is less than $10 a month. But girl, the best part is that you can try their premium membership for free. Yes, girl, the first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial. So make sure to click that link so you can explore your creativity by taking as many classes as you want on Skillshare. So this wallpaper, I didn't make it from scratch because I'm still learning. So what I did is I actually found the base image on Pinterest and I'll insert the base image and my wallpaper side by side. So I got the base image and I added just a bunch of details to make it more me. I added my three dogs and some things that I love as well. And I think that making your own wallpaper is a great way to personalize your MacBook. Next is something that I've installed recently and that is Deja desktop wallpaper. This is actually free on the app store, but if you want to sync your calendars, you will have to pay. So I sync mine to my Google calendar. So I had to pay 500 pesos. This has been super helpful for me, especially this quarantine, because I don't know about you, but I have not been checking my planner this quarantine, whether it's my digital planner or physical planner. So having this where I can literally see my calendar calendar as soon as I open my laptop has been an absolute lifesaver for me I'm not gonna lie I did struggle with this a little bit because I purchased the Google sync feature as I mentioned but my Google calendar just would not sync so I had to email the customer service a bunch of times until they sent me a link to this update and it's finally synced so I definitely had some struggles with this but at this moment I am very very happy to say that it works perfectly but yeah yeah, Deja Desktop is a great way to personalize your desktop because you can immediately see your calendar, especially if you're someone who's very busy and your weeks are usually packed. Or if you're just like me and this quarantine, you just don't have the motivation to check your planner or your calendar every single day. Next are sticky notes. So I only started using sticky notes recently and now I use it just to remind myself of really important deadlines, deadlines that I really can't miss. And I also have my upload schedule just so I know the videos that I'm uploading for the month. Next, we move on to my folders. So in case you don't know, you can change your folder icons and it's really simple. All you need to do is right click on your folder, click get info, and then click on the blue folder icon and then just find a PNG online or you can make it yourself if you want. Just make sure it's a PNG so it's not like a rectangle when you paste it. You simply copy that and paste it on top of the blue folder. It's a really great way to customize your desktop, to customize your folder icons. So for me, all of them are just circles right now of different shades of pink because I think that's what looks best with my current wallpaper and my current desktop setup. And you can also actually change the icons of apps. It's the same process. Go to applications, right click on the app 
click get info and then paste your new icon so I personally don't do that because I would get very confused if I change the icons of my apps but again if you want to you can definitely do that next is your dock this is also pretty basic but in case you don't know you can change a bunch of things you can change the size of the icons you can change how magnified it is when you scroll over it and you can change the position on screen it can be on the left the bottom or the right i personally prefer it at the bottom and you can also hide it if you want but again i prefer the classic setup if you go to general you can change a lot when it comes to the color and the theme of your macbook so first in appearance you can put it on dark mode i set mine to auto so in the mornings it's light mode at night it switches to dark mode you can also pick the accent colors this is going to be the color of all of the buttons the toggles i like pink obviously you can also change the highlight color which i really love and those are the three main things that really affect like the color scheme and the appearance of the applications in your macbook and your desktop in general next is your screen Saver. I'm going to recommend a specific screensaver and it is called Flicklow. I've been using it ever since I was in middle school. Like I think this was like a huge thing back in middle school. Even all over like Tumblr and Instagram, you would see like flat lays of gadgets and the MacBook would always have Flicklow on screen. I just love the look of it. It just looks very minimal, very chic. But if you don't like that, you can customize it anyway. There's a lot of different options here. You can also adjust when you wanted to start for me i set it at five minutes so if there's no activity on my map for five minutes the flick low screensaver will appear and next you have your user profile picture so i've had friends actually ask me like oh how do you change like your your user profile you go to users and groups click the image you can just pick your own just make sure it's on iphoto this is mine another vector that i created myself so i really like that next is not really like customizing the appearance of your macbook but this is just personalizing when you want your macbook to sleep or to shut down down automatically this is a feature that i absolutely love i sleep at around like 9 10 p.m so i schedule my laptop to go to sleep at 11 30 so i totally forgot to mention why i needed to shut down automatically so to help me fall asleep i always have friends playing in the background not because it's boring no friends is one of my favorite shows it's just to prevent me from overthinking at night so it's so important for me to have my macbook automatically shut down so that i can have friends playing without worrying about the battery life of my macbook since it shuts down automatically and it's super important to shut down your laptop you guys your macs if you want them to last longer if you want the battery to last longer next is adjusting the appearance of your desktop and when it turns really warm so i love the app flux or f.lux i set it to automatically turn my screen super duper warm at 7 p.m it's just really helpful for my eyes because i am on my laptop even at night so to lessen the stress on my eyes i really ensure that my laptop automatically warms the screen by the time nighttime hits there is a built-in feature on the macbook it'll turn warm but it's not warm enough for me like i like my screen like almost orange so that it really doesn't stress my eyes out so on top of the automatic warm feature of the macbook i also add the f.lux extension which is great next is the menu bar you can customize it it's essentially the, the very top bar on your map so you can add a bunch of apps on here it's really really helpful the top four apps that i recommend are f.lux as i mentioned copy clip because it keeps a record of the last i think like 20 items you copy and pasted which is super helpful especially for research mia mia for gmail it allows you to check your inbox from your desktop so you don't have to you know go on chrome log into gmail and all that and lastly is menu tab basically you can access facebook just just by clicking it and it's like a small window where you can see your feed you can see your messages and again if you just want to check if you have any notifications or any new messages without having to actually open chrome and log into facebook this is a quick way to do that now we're going to go to specific apps so there's so many ways to customize google chrome number one is through the theme
themes. There are thousands of themes to choose from. Simply go to the Google Chrome store, click themes, and just pick. Pick which one fits your aesthetic the most, and it's just a great way to customize your Google Chrome windows. And number two, you can customize your Google Chrome through extensions. So there are so many great Google Chrome extensions that allow you to just personalize your Google Chrome so that you have everything that you need. I do have a video where I talk about my top Google Chrome extension. So if you want to check that out, just click this card over here, or I'll leave a link to that down below. But one of my favorite Google Chrome extensions is Memento. So I keep calling it Memento, but it's actually called Momentum. I was so confident. I didn't even like second guess myself. I think it's because I really like the film Memento, but no, the extension is called Momentum. Which is what you're seeing right now. It's very minimalistic and you can personalize this with like to-do lists and all that, but I prefer keeping it super simple. So this is again Memento. Lastly, you can customize your Google Chrome by personalizing your bookmarks bar. So I really take advantage of this bookmarks bar. All the things that I access every single day or maybe like once a week or just often. So this is how you add something to your bookmarks bar in case you don't know. Just click the icon of the website and then drag it. But usually when you drag it, they automatically name it for you and it's usually like a really long name so it doesn't look very aesthetic. So you can actually rename it. Just right click and go to edit and then you can rename it. The next one is pretty extra but if you have a lot of time this quarantine and you are looking for new things to do, new things to keep yourself busy, you can customize your Spotify playlist covers. So that is something that I did and it kept me busy for like a good two days. So I, again, I'm really into digital art vectors right now. So similar to what I did with my wallpaper, I simply found like a base image on Pinterest and then I just added my own flair to it. I'm really proud of um, how my Spotify playlist covers look. So that is it for today's video. Those are the 20 ways that you can customize your MacBook. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you picked up a thing or two. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next Saturday, 2 p.m. Bye, girl.